Hey Pixels, Happy New Year! It's 2021, a new year and another opportunity for you to practice and improve your digital design skills through creative projects. Remember, practice makes Excel Pixel perfect. In today's video, you're going to learn the top 10 web design trends for 2021 and how you can design them. So let's get started. We're seeing a lot of gradient use on the web. When combined with a Gaussian blur, it elevates a simple background into an eye-catching visual. In XD, we're gonna place three primary colored shapes onto our artboard. Then we'll draw a borderless rectangle on top and enable background blur. We can then play around with the blur amount until we're satisfied with the look. Then we can group all elements so that we can export it as a background image as needed. We can only use our tried and true fonts for so long before they get boring. Thankfully, retro fonts are in style. Retro fonts provide a truly artistic and stylized look and feel to any website design. You can mix and match the old with the new to create a truly nice design. Search for retro fonts on any font licensing website and then add them to your design. Play around with size, spacing, line height, color, sky's the limit. Dark mode is here to stay. It looks good and it's easy on the eyes. You can easily create a dark version of your website by choosing dark colors for the background and white or light colors for any text on top. The key is that there is sufficient contrast between text and objects, and colors look good together. For the anti-design trend, we're going to embrace the raw, unapologetic, and even ugly. This design trend is all about breaking the rules, so we're going to throw away the security of the infamous 12 column grid and embrace chaos. In XD, we're going to use Arial as our primary font. We'll also move around elements and place them in unconventional ways. We definitely saw this trend last year, but this year, 3D illustration continues to stand strong on many websites. In XD, we can add a 3D illustration made in 3D software like Blender or Adobe Dimension. We can also make use of Adobe XD's latest feature, 3D Transforms, to add new visual dimensions to any website design. Grid outlines give a structured, bold, and unique look to any website. In the wild, this look definitely makes a statement to users. If you're a loyal ExoPixel viewer, you know that I'm always drawing borderless shapes. This time, we're going to add borders with no shame. Texture has always been a mainstay in web design, but in 2021, it's time to bring the noise and make it loud. In XD, I've imported this noise texture graphic. I'm going to place it in a layer mask so that it's the same size as our artboard. Now I'll play around with the layer order so that the texture is on top of the 3D shapes but behind the text and cards. I'll then select the overlay blend mode and adjust the opacity to adjust the amount of texture that I want to show through. Pastels and light organic colors are definitely making a comeback this year. If you want to stay on trend for your next web design project this year, try choosing lighter shades of your favorite colors or look out for light color palettes. Black and white is always in style. This year, it's on the web too. No need to fuss with colors when your palette is black and white. In 2021, website accessibility is no longer a nice feature. It's mandatory. Websites that are truly designed for all and look good is web design and will truly make your website stand out. To design an accessible website, always make sure that you're choosing fonts that are legible and colors that are placed on top of each other have a high contrast. 
What's your favorite web design trend for 2021? Let's chat in the comments below. I'll see you in the next tutorial.